Yo, what's good, people? It's Man Like Jamal. Today, we're going to talk about this little guy right here. The Busby Wasp e-scooter thing. So, let's go. Now, obviously, full disclosure thing, Busby shouted me to do a sponsored video thing so that man could show you guys what's good with this scooter. That's it. Literally, that's all they've said. Everything else is my opinion. So, without any further ado, let's go and have a closer look all right now before man starts riding the thing again let me just give you a quick product tour and show you wagwan starting off with the handlebars obviously you got little old school bell most of these electric mobility scooters they have the electronic belting the ang ang but you know old school settings fam not much handlebar space to put like a phone holder or anything like that on it which would have been sick fam like if you're going somewhere you don't know where you're going um but i guess these are for micro mobility so you know short distances and if you're going a short distance it's most likely you know where you're going in the first place anyway anyway you got a little break here little um physical brake which shuts off the motor puts on engine slowing as well as pulling the rear disc brake right here and that rear disc brake also sets off the rear brake light um, which you can probably see in this B-roll better at night time. Now it's gonna be kind of hard for me to show you this because my shutter speed is mad high at the moment, but you've got a little display here. Um, you press it once and it shows you a one, which means you've got it on level one, which is just like the lower speed. Set it to two, which is actually the top speed. And then you set it to three, which you would think is a faster speed, but it's actually the walking speed, isn't it? So if you wanna walk with your scooter, but you want it to, I don't know. But I don't know why you'd want a walking speed on a scooter, but the option is there, innit? Obviously you got the throttle here and thing like that as well. Um, standard grips. I guess you could get shorter grips and then use some of that handlebar space to mount like a phone mount. But yeah, like I said, there's not much space to mount a phone mount here if you really wanted to. On the front now, you got another light here, which is kind of cool. You tap it once and that turns on and you tap it again, it turns off. I think I just turned it on actually and now it's off yeah there we go but like I said I'm gonna have to show you that at night time because right now the sun is sunning and you can barely see you can still see it but barely see what's going on there now as you can see here fam um no suspension not from what I can see anyway you got the little grip tape at the bottom there with the Busby logo done know the done know looks nice I've never heard of Busby before but they're doing their thing and then you've got the little rear mudguard here. I forgot to say you've got front mudguard as well, but obviously you guys can see that. You've got reflectors as well. Reflector here, reflector on the back here, reflectors on the front wheels here, and you've got reflectors on the front top bit just by the handlebar. Um, little Busby logo there on the stem as well. And then you've got the, um, what's it called? The quick folding mechanism, which is you hold this and then you kind of fold it down kind of thing. Let me put the camera down and show you guys what going. I don't know. If, I don't even know which one to pull, fam. Is it both of them? Oh, there we go. So you have to pull both of them. It's kind of awkward to pull both of them. And then obviously you lean this down. There you go. It's not the heaviest e-scooter that man's held, but it's not light as well. So if you're going up bare flights of stairs, the thing might be long still. There's a little closer look at it when it's all folded up kind of thing. Nice and easy to fit in the yard as well. Now the handlebar does come off, but you have to unscrew it, innit? So it came off when it was in the box, like man was first setting it up. But if you wanna like fold it down to get a little bit more space when you're going on public transport, it don't do that. <laughs> Nor does it do that when you wanna put it in a car as well. So that is the size that it's gonna be when you're slapping it in the back seat. But yeah, kinda, kinda light, not the heaviest time. I'm feeling it still. So man's been giving this thing a little 2 2 ride and that. I can't even show you me riding it in certain places due to the law being what it is. But what I can say is, me being 150kg, this thing definitely pushes cuz. I feel like it's even got more speed than they're letting on cuz. Because when man first gets on it, that initial torque is crazy fam. You proper feel it go zoom when you're on gear 2 innit. Now when you get to 50 miles per hour, you kind of level out. There's no more torque, you're kind of just zooming along kind of thing. I can definitely tell, like I said before, that there's more to this little 300 watt motor. I don't know if there's a way to unregulate the motor so that I can go faster. Um, I might ask Busby, I don't know if they'll tell me because they want to keep everything legal and that. But with a 300 watt motor, I'm assuming that you can do a little bit more than 15.5 miles per hour, even with my weight on it. Now, as far as turning and all them things is considered, yeah, it's all good. Man's able to go around corners easy. The turning feels nice and limber. 
brakes are feeling nice and steady as well it's got like a two brake system kind of thing here yeah, where you've got the rear disc brake and you've got this kind of engine slowing kind of thing kind of re well it's not regenerative braking but the engine slows itself down or the motor goes into reverse to kind of slow itself down gradually kind of thing so it's not like a sudden stop but it's definitely enough to keep you alive if you're going to get into a sticky situation which you probably shouldn't do if you're riding this thing legally off-road anyway. Now the ride itself on concrete is kind of all right. I'm not gonna lie, I don't see no suspension on the scooter itself. However, I think the way they pumped up the tires to a maximum and their tubeless tires and thing as well, those tires are taking up all the little bumps and like bruises and thing from the rocks on the road in it so yeah it's pretty much smooth when man's busting around corner i did it on grass kind of thing it was a little more bumpier man was going up and down like that kind of thing um road markings and thing like that if you're gonna go over those you're gonna feel every single road marking you go over now man got surprising results when i was going up inclines and i'm talking slight inclines i don't know the exact degrees but if you're in the southeast london area you'll know blackheath hill it did not go up that <laughs> it would not go up that without me also adding some push support some manual support of me kicking the scooter or kicking with the scooter kind of thing that sounds mad kicking the scooter but you get what i'm saying that man had to do them ones in it to get it going all the way up the hill which was easier than doing it with a manual scooter but still i would love to just sit on the scooter and have it carry me up but at 150 kg it's not that for me but slight inclines i'm thinking maybe more than 20 degrees but less than 45 degrees like something kind of like that it can push me up those it'll do me at like eight miles per hour nine miles per hour um i won't get my full 50 miles per hour trying to go up an incline obviously um but that's kind of good considering man is 50 kg over the limit that the thing requires in the first place isn't it now i haven't sat with the charging thing but it's not like a fast charging thing anyway it's like a four hour charge um nearly as much as my car on a medium to fast charger kind of thing so for me it's a case of just leaving it on to do its thing overnight coming back in the morning and it's good to go or if man is taking it to work now man can leave it on charge whilst i'm at work and by the end of work i'm good to go so if i really want to rest it on the top gear it don't really matter as long as I bring the charger with me. And even though the charger is bulky, it's not heavy. It feels very lightweight kind of thing. So that's definitely another plus. Now, obviously, these things are not legal yet in the UK for whatever reasons, but it's quite well equipped to be used on roads. I mean, it's got daytime running light at the back here. Yeah? So cars can see you in low light situations. It's got brake lights as well so that cars, pedestrians, cyclists behind you can see when you're pushing that brake lever, pulling that brake lever kind of thing. It's also got a light in front of it that is hella bright. You can see that I've shown you it at night time already. Um, I'm not sure if I would say it's bright enough to show you where you're going in pitch. Actually, yeah, maybe if it was pitch black, it can kind of show you where you're going kind of thing, but it's more likely you're going to ride this in an urban area regardless of legalities and thing like that in it it's a pretty standard procedure scooter kind of thing it's not got any like tricks up its sleeve like a lot of these scooters that i've seen nowadays they have like an application on the phone where you can tell how much it's been charged you've got gps location in case it gets stolen um you've got flipping i don't know maybe it can charge your phone it's got a usb port on the scooter itself this ain't got none of that it's just standard procedure e-scooter it goes it stops it folds we're good to go kind of thing innit? and to be honest some of you out there don't even want to be messing with any applications and any extra features you just want the e-scooter to e-scooter and that's definitely what this does but for me i'm a techie kind of person in it so me i want i want the gimmicks yeah i want the flashy lights i want i don't know bluetooth for whatever reason so that i can connect to my scooter know how much i charged it like wake up in the morning without even having to come down to my scooter seeing what battery charge level it's at kind of thing so i know i can prepare for my day ahead of me um i guess it's a it's a niche thing really like man can still use the e-scooter without all them kind of fancy gadgets and things like that but yeah as a tech channel reviewer as a techie guy that's what man would like to see personally in it but let me know what you guys would like to see in the comment section below big shout out to busby ranieri for sorting this out for review 
Um, if you got any questions, obviously you know where man is in it. Give me a shout. I'll let you know. Wagwan for the Busby Wasp. They've also got a higher version. That's the Busby Hornet, and I think they got like a helmet as well. But bad man don't do safety, innit? 